Hello! Today we are working in the Christmas book, the Alfred's 1B Christmas song book. And we are on pages 2 and 3, working with our first song, Jolly Old Saint Nicholas. You may recall having learned this song in the past when we were still working with our Black Key songs. And that was pre-staff. But now that we are in the staff and have graduated from the all-in-one book one, let's go ahead and learn this song. So the steps are as follows, pretty similar to what we have done in the past. Clapping and counting. This time, because we have two staves and the grand staff, we will be clapping on our lap. So, let's go ahead and get started. Counting, clapping, and counting. One, two, three, four. 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 Release. Okay. So that was the first step. Now, let's go ahead and clap the left-handed intervals, and we're going to clap and say the note names for the right hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four. E, 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 D, D, D. C, 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 E, E, E. A, 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 G, G, C, D, C, D, E, D, two, three, four, E, 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 D, 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 C, 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 E, E, A, 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 G, G, C, D, C, D, E, C, G, C, repeat, release. Okay, so that's that step. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play and sing the note name on the piano. We're going to just clap the left-handed part as we play the right hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four. E, 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 D, 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 C, 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 D. Now we're going to replace the left hand now. A, 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 G, G, C, D, C, D, E, D. E, 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 D, 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 C, 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 E. moving around quite a bit in this piece of music. Our next step now is we're going to clap the right hand as we play the left hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Release. Okay, so the purpose of our clapping one hand while playing the other is preparing us for when we begin to learn music with two hands for two staves. As the music continues to get harder and more difficult, it may be essential to practice one hand at a time, but for the sake of not allowing one hand to be a band or to just not do anything, we clap the rhythm on our lap as we play the other hand. Very good. Let's now go ahead and to go to our next step. Our next step, we're going to add a new one, which will be putting both hands together. Okay? Now, this step is going to be played without the lyrics. We want to do this for the sake of being able to play both hands together initially before adding our lyrics. We want to make sure that we can play both hands together after having practiced one hand at a time. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and count for this step. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Release. Let's take a close look on page number three, which is the second page of our song. So, usually we have mostly been playing all of our music in C position. However, on measure number five, page three, the left hand is playing A with finger number one. This requires us to move our left hand into a new position, one whole step above C, which brings us into D position. D is played by the finger, the small finger, and all the rest of the keys to the right are played by the remaining fingers, which allows us to play one on A, and G is played with finger number two. For measures five and six, and for 13 and 14, we will place our hand in D position. Then, back to measure number 7, we will return it back to C position. Same thing at measure number 15. It will be placed back in C position. There's a box in your music where it says to return left hand to C position. Remember to move it to D position and then back to C position, just like that. Okay, so after you have practiced each of those steps and you are able to play both hands together perfectly well, we can now move on to the lyrics. Let's go ahead and clap and count, clap and say the lyrics. We're clapping only the right hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Jolly old Saint Nicholas, lean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now you dear old man, whisper what you'll bring to me. Tell me if you can. Release. Alrighty then. Very good. Let's go ahead now and put everything together. This step should not be attempted until after you have reviewed all the other steps many times and are comfortable playing both hands together. 
we can now add the lyrics. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Jolly old Saint Nicholas, lean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now you dear old man, whisper what you'll bring to me. Tell me if you can. How did you do? At first learning of this song, we may simply be reviewing the steps that we have outlined today. However, do not forget to add your dynamics, your articulations, and of course, add a little bit of Christmas spirit to your performance. Okay, make sure you highlight and are note, noteworthy that you note the different dynamics and the slurs to play every single four bar phrase smooth and connected without any breaks until the end of the phrase, until the end of that slur. And at the last measure, we have there, the last measure, our pedal marking. This appears to be the first time we have pedal in our music. So, at the last measure, when we come to C with the right hand, and we have the chord, on beat, immediately after playing this chord, you will depress the pedal. Let's get a better look. Okay, I think this is a better angle for you to be able to see both my hands on the piano and my foot at the pedal. So whenever we use the pedal, remember to keep your right foot to the right of the sustained pedal. When it's ready to perform, simply move that foot over the pedal, and after beat one, you will depress it full. So practice depressing that pedal down, up, down, up. So to perform the last measure, it'll be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, release. And both hands and pedal will be released at the same time. Here we go. Once again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, release. So as I'm pressing down on the pedal, I'm not exactly pressing on beat two, but in between beats one and two. Once again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, release. Okay, very good. Please practice these steps several times until it is ready to be performed, and we will perform this at your next lesson. Good luck.